All right. Uh, good morning again, or good day again to you. Uh, this would be the, I think, the last part of my lecture. Uh, the harvesting tools and materials. So here, um, pag madali lang to, na pag usapan lang natin, ay mga ginagamit sa pagharvest, no? At uh, ma ano lang naman, uh, this is very quick, you know? So let us try to uh, find out. Ano kita ato matutuhan natin dito, no? So ma identify to mga tools na ito and material for harvesting crops, you no? Know? Some of it. Uh, sa picture na lang natin makikita ano ah uh, we don't have a chance to look at it physically no? and then how uh, use of these uh, appropriate tools in harvesting crops ano as an introduction harvesting is the process of gathering ripe crop from the fields ano reaping is the cutting of grain or pulse of harvest no? Harvesting is the most labor-intensive activity of the growing season. Harvesting is the process when you cut and collect your mature crop from the field. To get the highest or the biggest yield, reduce grains loss, and maintain seed quality, it is important to harvest the right at the right time. Harvesting too early or too late leads to reduced yields and less quality of your seed harvest. This reduces the value of your crop. When harvesting a seed crop, you must pay particular attention to ensure that harvest produces quality seeds that have strong viability. This is important to the farmer who will use the seeds because reduced quality of seeds results in lower germination and poor crop establishments which will eventually produce lower yield at harvest. Harvesting tools and materials are used in doing the harvesting operations of different crops. Let us try to look at some of the harvesting tools and materials. You have the corn harvester. Ito ay uh, hindi masyadong pinapractice sa Pilipinas because probably we don't have that uh, type of uh, equipment yet. No? So sa ibang bansa, dahil nga malalaki naman masyado yung farm nila at uh, kung gagamitan ng manual labor, will take them so so much time at saka mas magastos but they invested on these machines. You know? Call it corn harvester, sugar cane harvester. It is sa Pilipinas, mano-mano pa rin. Then wala naman masyado tayong taniman dito ng cotton. Meron din cotton picker, uh, bean harvester, and then ito, meron na tayo, rice combined harvester. Yan. Meron na niya sa Central Luzon. Yan. Also, meron rin corn harvester, pero sa Benguet ay human pa rin ang ginagamit. Uh, potato harvester, of course, ito ay sa um, ibang bansa. Ito probably US kasi si US ay uh, pinakamalaki. Ang tani man dyan ng uh, potato. So, meron na silang panghukay dyan. At diretso na yan sa kanilang container to go to the processing, uh, out to the um, packaging stations. Ano? Kasi nga, no-compute nila na although sayang, sana may mga trabaho, sana yung mga laborer, pero it would eventually add more cost tsaka mas mabilis. Uh, coffee bean harvester, meron na rin yan sa ibang bansa. No? Rice haller, meron na rito sa Pilipinas. Mga kiskis, tawag dyan. Ito naman mga common na ginagamit, although itong pictures na ito, ay wala na, hindi naman ito. Pero itak lang yan, itak na carrot to bed, o itong carrot kung tawagin. Uh, ito, you should, be, you should have one. Itong mga uh, pruning shears, o kaya itong mga cutters natin, itak, machete is itak. Uh, and... Uh, uh, yung flail, uh, old instrument yan, parang pinupukok, parang tsapu, eh, pinupukok yung mga, mga grains. Ano? Shears, ayan, cutters. Yan ang pinaka-importante, cutter. And then, sa mga citrus naman, uh, clipper ang tawag dyan. Yung pole-mounted cut and old pick, picking shears, ito yung mga oh, modern ito sa Lazada. Merong isang klase yung uh, microscopic ang hawakan. Uh, telescopic, I mean. 
uh, napapahaba ba siya tapos pag hihila mo yung may tali siya hihilahin magko-close yung yung dulo niya na naandun yung talim ano at mapuputol niya yung mga uh, different sizes of sanga ang maganda roon yung naputol mo sanga hindi bibitawan noong kanyang ano kaya siya ay uh, uh, cut and hold no pero merong hindi naman cut and hold no of course ito yung isa yung sigpaw Importante sa pag-harvest, sigpaw, tawag natin dyan. O anong dapat nating uh, matutunan sa pag-harvest? Okay. Uh, mayroon tinatawag tayong manual harvesting where manual harvesting means cutting of crops by using hand tools for small grains. Hand tools including yeah, mga itakaret. No? Manual harvesting is tedious, sometimes boring and labor. intensive no mechanical harvesting is done by using a machine no? tips sa mga sa pagharvest to importante bigger is not always better many vegetables are at their peak of quality and tenderness when still immature ayung nabanggit ko kanina talong ay wag yung picking yung mature lampas na yan salad greens cucumbers beans peas potatoes and turnips when they are still immature avoid wet weather no vegetable gardeners know how important it is for plants to receive regular moisture but generally it's a good idea to stay out of the garden when it's raining ay wag na mag-harvest kapag ka umuulan baka naman kayo i sipunin pa ay akala dengue okay harvest open malimit ang pag-harvest anyone who grows crops with tiny fruits can go from 2 inches to 3 feet in mere days. Therefore, it's a good idea to stay on top of harvesting. Frequent uh, harvesting can result in higher quality and better tasting vegetables, but it can also encourage higher yield. You know? Use proper tools for many vegetables. Harvesting tools are unnecessary. Uh, to, Beans, peas, lettuce, scale, and so on. Damaged plants provide an entry point for diseases. How to harvest uh, fruits and vegetables? Pick open and small. The biggest harvesting scene gardeners commit is waiting until produce is too big or too old. Like, okay. This results in produce that is top bitter or disease. I, I like uh, lettuce. Huwag ka 21 days. Pumapait na yan. Harvest when plants are dry. Harvesting when wet can spread Uh, diseases, no? especially on green beans. Harvest early, ito yung ta-important, harvest early in the day. Produce tends to be better hydrated in the early morning and once you've harvested it, be sure to eat within the next day or two so you don't squander all the freshness. And then how are cereals harvested? As soon as the parent plant and their seed kernels are reasonably dry, Harvest can begin. It, in developed countries, cereal crops are universally machine harvested, typically using a combined harvester with cuts, dresses, and winnows the grain during a single pass across the field. No, and yan na. Pagputol niya, uh, nakasakon, isasakon na niya. Uh, ganda na ito, ang bibilis nito ang harvester na ito. Harvesting rice, the harvest rice farmers drain, cut and dry. The first of harvesting is draining the paddy. Next, farmers cut the plants with a skite or sickle if, the hand, if by hand and transport them elsewhere to be laid out and dried for two or three days. Ako, ito yan sa dati, dyan sa Nueva Ecija, eh, ano, sa kalsada ay binibilad. Pero nung nauso yung mga drying station, Uh, doon na dinadala ng sako-sako na roon. Kaya minsan yung mga sasakyan, eh, dyan na kaka, ano, nade-delay because yung minsan napakahaba noong nakabilad yung palay. Pero ngayon, may mga machines na tayo, may mga facilities na. Harvesting the crop on time is very important to maximize yields and grain quality. Crops harvested too early will have many unfilled and immature grains Immature grains breaks easily when milled and will not germinate when used for seeds. If crops are harvested late, heavy losses will occur through shattering and bird attacks. 
Kaya yan ang yung problema. Yung maaga mong inani ang palay, hindi pa siya fully matured. Hindi rin siya masarap na isain. At saka mura. Mura ang magiging benta mo. Okay, so ito na yun. Uh, pumasok na itong mga modern machine. Ito yung nasa gitna yung harvester kung tawagin. Uh, yung isa, manual pa rin siya pero using itong uh, grass cutter. Yun, uh, ito tinatanggal lang yung, ano, yung grains from doon sa kanyang diameter. Yung nasa left. Factors considered in harvesting rice, uh, grain moisture is between 20 to 22%, which is normally about 30 days after ng plowering. Kaya inaano yan, binibilang ang ano. Natandaan din. Alam na ng mga natanin ng palay kailang pinakamagandang panahon na dapat na siyang harvest. 80 to 85% of the grains are straw colored, uh, parang brownish na siya. Ang katulad ng, ano, ng dayami at kulay. Grains in the lower part of the panicle are hard, not soft, and grains are firm but not easily broken when squeezed between the teeth. Ito na yung testing, uh, pinakagat. No? Tanggalin yung pinaka-ipa, yung balat, and then yung testing yung kagatin niya. Nalalaman nila kung pwede nang i-harvest, kung medyo matigas na siya, pero pagka soft pa siya, uh, konting araw pa. So, maximizing grain quality after cutting. Ito na ngayon post-harvest. Ensure the panicles do not touch the ground or lay in water. Minimizing the time cut panicles remain in large bundles in the field and then press within 24 hours after cutting. Tanggal, matanggal yung sa dayami. You know? Tanggal na. Paghiwalay. Drying the grains as soon as possible after pressing. Turning or steering the grains at least once every hour when sun drying to achieve uniform drying. At talaga yan eh, binabalik na tinahalo. Kaya merong, nakikita mo sa kalsada, merong parang habang pole with uh, may kahoy sa dulo. Yun, tinaturn, binabalik. Matrabaho talaga yan. No? Sa init ng araw yun. Ha? Keeping the thickness of the grain layer at 3 to 5 centimeter. So, hindi pwedeng ang laki ng ano mo, nung uh, pagkakalat mo, uh, makapal, dapat eh, between 3 to 5 centimeter. Kasi ang reason doon, yung nasa ilalim ay hindi na makaka-receive ng enough heat. So, ano lang, ma huwag masyadong makapal ang layer. Covering the grain on hot days during midday to prevent overheating and covering immediately if it starts raining. O, oh, ipagka naman sobra, uh, mag-overheat naman. So, kinatakloban. At saka, ready ka rin sa ulan. Takloban mo rin. Cleaning the grain by repeated winnowing after drying. Ay tinatanggal yung mga, uh, mga napasamang parts ng, ano, na hindi kailangan. Yung puso dati yung pinapahanginan sa may mga pictures niya yung araw. Ano, uh, sisikol pa para mahanginan, para maghiwala yung ipa at ang um, matira ng babaksa kay yung grain. So yung pala. You know. Storing the rice. In a cold, dry, and clean area, preferably a sealed containers for seed. Kung mag-seed uh, collection ka para sa sunod na planting. No? How to harvest uh, and store eggplants? So, simple lang naman. No? Pag alam mo na ang ano niya, yung, uh, pwede na siyang gulayin. Harvest it. Yun. Using anything that... Uh, It will give a clean cut. No? Huwag nung baltakin, huwag nung hilahin. Gumamit kayo ng cutter. No? No, wala namang masyadong uh, uh, napaka-sophisticated sa pag-harvest ng tomato ng uh, cucumber. Importante lang, mayroon kayong gamitin yan para clean cut. Yan, yan. wash. Ito yung kung gagamitin mo sa bahay. Wash before storage. Hey, another quiz, 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 quiz. Dito tayo na. Para lamang uh, to keep us uh, on foot, no? Tanong here. First question. The most important corn type in the Philippines and is practically used as feed, especially ito, pag feed, ha? Feed for uh, poultry and swine. Anong klaseng corn ito? Glutinous, yellow corn, white corn, or sweet corn? Number two, the method of harvesting by cutting the crops using hand tools. 
manual, chemical, mechanical, or none of this. There is cutting of grain in or pulse for harvest, typically using sky sickle or reaper. What they call the tressing, harvesting, cutting, or reaping. Number four question, the process of gathering mature or ripe crop from the fields. Okay, harvesting, reaping, tressing, or cutting. Number five, a harvesting method that uses machine, chemical method, manual method, mechanical method, and none of this. Sorry, yan mga nakagibin na yan. Napakadali nyo nang sagutin yung mga questions na yan. Okay, let us continue. No? The post-harvest treatment. Ano ba ito mga objectives natin dito? After reading this information, no, you must be able to, number one, know the importance of course, post-harvest treatment of certain crops. Uh, na harvest, na harvest no? Pero tinitreat pa pala siya. Mayroon pang ina-apply na something. You know? And then implement post-harvest treatment to a certain crops. As an introduction, post-harvest statements generally consist in cleaning, selecting, grading, and packing of the fresh produce. However, some crops necessitate special handling or treatments. Root crops such as potatoes and some tropical root crops may require having their roots cured prior to long-term storage. The pre-harvest and the post-harvest. A uh, pre-harvest system may be defined as a system of existing uh, technologies for agricultural raw materials production. In the system of traditional agriculture that predominates in developing countries, pre- and post-harvest technologies are usually of different social and economic structure. Post-harvest handling is a stage of crop production immediately following harvest, including cooling, cleaning, sorting, and packing. Post-harvest treatment largely determines final quality, whether a crop is sold for press consumption or used as an ingredient in a processed food product. Here are some of uh, activities done during the after harvesting. Number one, sorting, grading, packing, and transport of produce to storage or market. All of these actions influence the quality or the product quality. It also plays a role whether the product is transported shortly after harvesting or it stays on the farm for a longer time, which drastically affects the fruit's quality. Here are the major causes of crop deterioration. Number one, the growth and activities of microorganisms, principally bacteria, yeast, and molds. Number two, activities of natural food enzymes, insects, parasites, and rodents, temperature, both heat and cold, and time. This is, uh, here is the post-harvesting chain for grains. I, I like, it could be a good example. You start with harvesting, the pre-drying, Pressing, pre cleaning, drying, storage, processing, and marketing. Uh, this is a, uh, yung nabagit ko kanina, um, ito yung causes of food deterioration. Ito yung, this, this type one naman is a factor affecting post harvest life of crops. Uh, this will determine yung kaniya, gaano siya tatagal. No? Number one is the water content. Kaya nga, meron tayong tinatawag na mga degree no, ang kaniyang moisture content no, bago uh, harvest and after harvesting. The respiratory rate, the ethylene production, okay, endogenous plant hormone, hormones, exogenous factor like the microbial growth, temperature, relative humidity, and atmospheric compositions. Some of the post-harvest treatment, some crops should be washed in cold running water immediately after they are harvested to remove any soil, dust, or other contaminants and to help lower their temperature. Yeah, yeah, nakala nyo, nililimis lang, but the, the other purpose is to reduce the heat kasi nasa field yan. No? Number two is the pre-cooling. The pre-cooling 
after harvest, cleaning or disinfecting, sorting and grading, packaging and storage. Back in, going back again to the post-harvest loss, post-harvest loss can be defined as the loss from the stage of harvesting to the stage of consumption resulting from qualitative loss, quantitative loss, and food waste by the consumers all together. Now, let us go to the characteristics affecting harvest quality. The objective is to know the importance of quality harvest and identify characteristics of quality harvest. As an introduction, quality of fresh fruits and vegetables is generally based on the chemical composition or physical characteristics of a combination of these two factors. Attributes of interest to the consumers are visual appearance, texture, texture, firmness, sensory, nutritional, and food safety, as we have discussed earlier. The major causes of food deterioration include the following growth and activities of microorganisms, principally bacteria, yeast, and molds, activities of natural food enzymes, insect parasites and rodents, temperature, both heat, both heat and cold air, and in particular, oxygen. It depends on materials, tools, machines, type of labor, working conditions. According to study by Duran, quality control is the regulatory process through which we measure actual quality performance and compare it with the standard. Characteristics of quality fresh fruits, maturity, firmness, uniformity of size and shape, absence of defects, skin and flesh color, texture such as turgidity, toughness and tenderness. Turgidity is the presence of water on sa fruits. No? So ito yung titignan kapag nag-harvest. Quality of fresh fruits and vegetables is generally based on the chemical composition of physical characteristics or a combination of these two factors. Okay, moving forward. The purpose of this work is to spread the basic concept of good agricultural practices or GAP. So in order to, number one, guide the production systems toward a sustainable agriculture and ecologically safe obtain harmless products of higher quality, contribute to food security, generating income through the access to markets, and improve working conditions of producers and their families. GAP is a set of principles, regulations, and technical recommendations applicable to production, processing, and food transport, addressing human health care, environment protection, and improvement of worker condition and their families. Actually, itong gap na ito is a certification na ia-apply mo no? kung ikaw ay mayroong farm. No? At mayroong certifying body. Normally, the certifying bodies are um, set of you know, private practitioners who understand these things as gap. And then maraming tinitingan dyan. Uh, sometimes to the point of uh, kung hindi ka serious talagang uh, hindi ka makakakuha ng good agricultural practices uh, seal. No? Uh, dahil ang dami. Daming dapat masunod. Because these are actually designed uh, for safety. No? Product safety talaga ang uh, hinahabol dito. Uh, who benefit uh, from the gap? Number one, the farmers and their families that will obtain healthy and good quality food to assure their nutrition and enrollment generating a value added in their products to access markets in a better way. Consumers that would enjoy better and safe quality food with sustainable production. And of course, the population in general that will benefit from a better environment. Good agricultural practices are ways that produce growers can prevent the uh, on-farm contamination of fruits and vegetables from the safety portion. GAPs are a new way of thinking about the food safety. Agricultural practices are also used to maximize the farm produce in different ways and quality 
production. Ito ay sinisimula na natin at marami na rin naman nakakuha dito. Kasi ito ay on the long run will uh, produce uh, safe na kalimitan ay nire-require ng mga uh, companies especially intended for export. Ay, uh, meron ulit tayong uh, little quiz here. Nang lagi meron quiz ha. Number one, one of the following is not quality of fresh fruits and vegetables based on the chemical or physical characteristic or a combination of the two factors. Ano raw? Uh, the following is not. Uh, the keyword is not. Visual appearance, textural firmness, nutritional and food safety, price of the product. Number two, which of the following is not a cause of food deterioration? growth and activities of microorganisms, temperature, insect parasites, and rodents, or none of the above. Number three, the following are characteristics of fresh fruits except skin and flesh color, uniformity of size and shape, absence of the defects, and turgidity. Except I'm going to hang up data. Number four, a set of principles, regulation, and technical recommendations applicable to the production processing of food transport, good agricultural packaging, good agricultural animal production, good agricultural practices, or good agricultural production. No. Lahat yan ay gap. Pero alin ba ang ibig sabihin dyan ang gap? All right. So, yan. Part of the quiz. Tapit na tayo. Now, let us uh, discuss naman about the post-harvest operation. Ito na. Perform, perform na post-harvest operation of a certain crop. No? As an in-production in agriculture, post-harvest handling is a stage of crop production immediately following harvest, including cooling, cleaning, sorting, and packing, as I mentioned before. Post-harvest treatment largely determines final quality, whether a crop is sold for fresh consumption or used as an ingredient in processed food. Physical handling can have a drastic effect on the post-harvest quality and shelf life of most harvested foods and vegetables. For instance, crop handling during harvesting and after harvesting can cause the mechanical injuries, which can affect the post-harvest quality of shelf life of harvested fruits. Ayun, nadaganan na ng kapwa prutas. Ano? Kung di magandang packaging, masyadong mataas na ang pagkakapatong-patong. It is therefore important to know suitable post-harvest handling practices needed to maintain the quality and extend the shelf life of crops for producers in developing countries. Some of the handling practices which include harvesting, pre-calling, cleaning, and disinfecting, sorting, grading, packaging, transportation, and storage, as I mentioned before. Yan, no? Ano naman tong pre-calling after harvest? No? Pre-calling minimizes the effect of microbial activity, metabolic activity, respiration rate, and ethylene production while reducing the ripening rate, water loss, and decay. So, hindi lang naman kaya hinuhugasan ay para malinis, kundi meron pa siyang other uses. Cleaning and disinfecting, proper hygiene is a major concern to all those uh, handlers because of not only post-service diseases, but also incidents of foodborne illnesses that can be transmitted to consumers. Sorting and grading, one of the most important processes in packaging and marketing of fruits and vegetables is sorting and grading. Sorting is the removal of rotten, damaged, or diseased fruits from the healthy and clean ones. The damaged or diseased fruits can produce ethylene in substantial amounts which can affect the adjacent fruits. Grading is also the process of categorizing fruits and vegetables on the basis of color, size, stage of maturity, and degree of ripeness. Packaging. Packaging is also one of the important aspects to consider in addressing post-harvest losses in fruits and vegetables. It is enclosing food produce or product to protect you know, it from mechanical injuries, tampering, and contamination from physical, chemical, and 
biological sources. The packing facility you know, should be arranged so that products moves to a cleaner area during each step of processing. Okay? So many times the good sanitation and housekeeping should be practiced in the area the, uh, as a standard operating procedure. Cleaning supplies should be stored in separate area. Restrooms should not uh, open directly into processing and packaging areas. So keep the door closed. Should have adequate lighting and shielded to protect product if breakage occurs. Processing equipment, food, contact surfaces should be cleaned and sanitized and done as frequently as necessary. Use only food grade machinery lubricants. Expose overhead piping and ducts should be minimized and kept clean. Work tables, product preparation surfaces, food contact surfaces should be smooth surfaces, allow easy cleaning. Rough surfaces harbor dirt and microorganisms, important to clean and sanitize as needed. Wash, rinse, and sanitize with approved food contact agents. Store parking containers away from the contamination sources and close doors at night. Right, so, so this is the stages again. Itong ating titignan, pre-harvesting, harvesting, treatment of fungicide, selection and grading, packing, cold storage, transportation, whether sea or air, storage, wrap or ripening, distribution, and retailing. So here are some of the standard packing facility for fruits and vegetables. Ayan makikita nyo na talagang organized sila with the PPE, mga cartons are neatly tucked at itong uh, packaging nito sa plastic container ay may good label. So ito mga, kaya ito ginagawa for uh, part ito ng uh, good manufacturing processes or GMP. Ano naman ang uh, kinakailangan ma-observe sa mga worker? No? Workers should uh, follow good hygienic practices to protect against contamination of the product. They should receive training in proper food handling techniques, food protection basics, personal hygiene, and sanitary practice. Wear clean and outer garments, change clothing or aprons if coming from the field, maintain personal cleanliness, wash hands thoroughly before starting work, after its absence from work station at any time when hands become soiled. Remove all unsecured jewelry and other objects. No eating, chewing, or smoking in packing areas. Gloves must be intact, clean, and sanitary. Wear hairnets and bird covers. A worker with a health problem that could contaminate food or food equipment shall be excluded from working with food. Product characteristics, huh? particles or products are highly perishable. That you should be understand that. No? That is young, uh, deteriorate in, uh, not you in nature and are very easily affected by climatic conditions, distribution hazards, and microbial decay. Since fruits and vegetables are living organisms, even after harvesting, they remain, remain fresh only as long as normal metabolism continues. No? In order to develop a suitable package for horticulture produce, it is important to understand the biology of the produce. Since the produce is a living tissue, even after harvesting the high respiration rate and other metabolic processes associated with maturation and ripening of these products continue throughout the marketing cycle. This creates a special problem, the storage and packaging of fresh produce. While developing a packaging system, the, the following products characteristic have to be considered. Respiration, moisture, microorganism, changes in color, texture, odor, and flavor, temperatures, and volatiles. Volatiles are yung mga uh, gases, no? ethylene. No? Important rin ang ventilations. Since the horticultural products respire even after harvesting, uh, 
the package should be provided with ventilation holes during transportation. Kaya mapansin nyo yung mga uh, plastic na container mga grapes may butas. That is for ventilation holes. Ano? Cold air is constantly circulated through the container to remove the heat transmitted during the cooling process. The quality of the press produce when presented to the consumer depend on the initial quality of the harvest, care taken during physical handling, length of the time since the harvest, and the storage environment. Pre-cooling or the pre-cooling. The aim of pre-cooling is to slow down the enzymatic respirate and respiratory activity, minimize susceptibility to microorganisms, and to reduce water loss and ethylene production. Pre-cooling helps in removing the field heat prior to storage. It reduces the respiration heat and decreases the rate. The different methods of use for pre-cooling are forced air cooling, vacuum cooling, and hydro cooling. Ito yung mga sample. Ano? Ayan. Ay, tubig. Ayan, nakababad pa nga ito. Ito, ayan. Nasa crate, no? Okay, alam niya ang purpose niya, hydro cooling. Reduce the heat. Now, let us go to handling, packing, and storing of produce. No? The objective is to know the hand, know to how to handle products produced carefully and use appropriate packaging materials for certain crops. <clears throat> the package must protect the produce from mechanical damage and poor uh, environmental condition during handling and distribution because almost all products of all produce packages are palletized. Paleta. Produce containers should have sufficient stocking strength to resist crossing in a low temperature, high humidity environment. Embar uh, humidity embar Kaya nga yun, dapat yung patas niya ay may standard yan. Kasi baka makrush yung nasa ilalim. So meron lang allowed. You know. Packing of harvested fruit and vegetables, the packaging can serve to protect against contamination, damage, and most importantly against excess moisture loss protect fruits and vegetables from pathogens. No? The post-harvest handling also includes the good manufacturing processes, the packing facility stations, the building equipment storage, water quality, and workers' hygiene. The packing house sanitation, there should be proper sorting and culling of product, maintaining detectable free chlorine, uh, free chlorine in wash waters, enforcing good worker hygiene, cleaning and sanitizing equipment. Packing house sanitation, excluding all animals from packing house, especially insects, birds, and rodents. Ayan, dapat wala niyan. Ah. Ito yung mga packaging requirements. You know? So different uh, vertical crop have different uh, requirements. They should protect against bruising, physical injury. Ayan niya, yung lalapagit natin kanina. So ito yung mga Sample ng mga cartons. Ano ito yung mga packaging materials? Ano? Pwedeng plastic. The most common plastic methods is industries, in industries is plastic. Aluminum is widely used for products such as sodas, beer, canned goods, and animal foods. Ito yung mga canned goods. Ano? Cardboard. Most products are packaged in cardboard. Boxes are first wrapped in another type of packaging such as bubble wrap or foam. Glass or foam. Yeah. Ano yung mga best packaging materials? Cardboard, seal, plastic bags, paper, stopping materials, bubble wrap, and foam, foam foil. Uh, different types of packaging methods. Anti-corrosive packaging, parma packaging, plastic packaging, and flexible packaging. Okay. Uh, function of packaging. Yan, dito na papasok. Napoprotect na pero ang other purpose niya is to attract buyer's attention. So paganda ng design. Protects goods inside the packaging. Be easy to open and use. Yan, napapadaling buksan. Describe and give info about contents. It explains the benefits of the good insides, of the goods inside. It provides the warranty, warnings, and consumer matter information. And give value, price, and use indication. So, meron talagang ano ito, different seminar for the packaging. Yung, ano yung susulat mo roon. So, uh, there are peace in packaging. Number one, protection, preservation, and promotion. 
Let's go now to storage. Uh, storage is, is an important marketing function which involves holding and preserving goods from the time they are produced until they are needed for consumption. The storage of goods, therefore, from the time of production to the time of consumption ensures a continuous flow of goods in the market. So storage is important at the food level to permit the fair use on an annual and multi-annual basis of the agricultural products harvested. No? Uh, halimbawa, yung uh, sibuyas no? at hindi naman magagamit siya agad, ilalagay mo na sa storage houses para unti-unti siyang ilalabas sa market. The agricultural level to ensure availability of seeds for the crop cycles to come. Para yung gagamitin mong seeds ay nakapreserve. Forms of farm storage, we have the open, semi-open, and closed storage system. In unfavorable hot and humid climatic conditions, almost only open storage systems are used because the storage the stored produce is still moist when it is put into storage. Methods of storing or stocking produce, you have the drying, canning, curing and salting, freezing, and common storage. While storing grains in the warehouse, uh, prepare grains beans, store quality grain, dry to the right moisture content, improve aeration, control temperature, and keep cool in summer. And another quiz. Ayan, matching, matching column A with column B. Basahin nyo na lang. Okay, I guess the, this will be the last topic, I hope. No? Packaging materials, mga ginagamit no? for transport and consumer. And merong corrugated fiber board or plastic and flexible containers such as socks made of plastics. Along with these materials, some traditional materials used are jute socks, wooden boxes, and bamboo baskets. No? Ito yung modified atmosphere packaging uso na ngayon yan makikita nyo sa supermarket tingnan nyo lang yan marami mga ganyan kahit mga kamisan yung tofu ang gaganda ng packaging ganyan no? MAP modified atmosphere packaging but it requires uh, ano ito mga machines and uh, for the last portion is the quiz yan basahin nyo lang ang quiz so that we don't uh, spend too much time here. Uh, let us try to identify naman ngayon mga storage pests and diseases and then monitor them. No? Ito kasi mga pests and diseases nito, eh, di pinagmumula na naman ito ng mga losses. Insect pests and stored grains, mapapansin uh, nyo yung desert grain borer, rice we build, rust red, floor beetle, and warehouse moth. Sa bigas, makakakita ka rin yan. Pero ngayon, medyo madalang. Dati, marami ko nakikita mga parang bukbuk no? sa bigas. Ito yung spring insect. There are several types of insects. The cowpeed, uh, broodsheets, beetles, grain borer, rice weevil, moth. Ayan lang naman, no? ang, uh, para maprotektahan natin yung mga na-store natin. Nakalib nakalibre na nga doon sa field, sa other, ano, pagdating doon sa storage warehouse, doon inatake no? ng mga, ay wala rin, sayang din. So, protektahan natin yung mga storage warehouses. Mayroong mga tinatawag na storage fungi kapag ka ang moisture content ay mataas. So, ayan. And please answer again the quiz. And, ayun na. Thank you na. Si... Sir Boying for listening to me. And uh, that ends up our lecture for our AgSign 19. And I hope you uh, learn in time. We could watch this again and again and again as you needed. You know? So, important ito malaman going back again to sa aking uh, initial uh, statement that we should uh, learn the way of uh, reducing post-harvest losses. So thank you very much for listening to me.